There's a strange problem in the heat pump world. I've just finished one of the most detailed mathematical brain melting heat pump courses available in the UK. And after all of that, I still have no idea how to install a heat pump. And that is exactly the issue because the gap between heat pump theory and real world heat pump installations is enormous. But before we get into this video, if you're lost somewhere between two conflicting heat pump quotes and a spreadsheet that you don't understand, leave me a comment and please subscribe if you want to see more content like this because somehow this is now my life. Right, so a few weeks ago, I finished the Heat Geek Mastery course, partly because I run Renewable Heating Hub, partly because I speak to manufacturers, engineers, and homeowners every day, and partly because I wanted to finally understand the arguments I hear daily instead of just nodding politely and hoping that no one asks me to calculate anything. All in all, I think the course delivered. I learned more than I expected, there was also far more maths than I expected, and far more about delta T's, pump curves, and frictional resistance than any sane person should ever have access to. But I can now look at a system and have a decent idea why it's misbehaving. But here's the twist. That knowledge does not mean that I could install a heat pump tomorrow or fix an ailing one. Not even remotely. Because knowledge isn't competence, and competence in the world of heat pump installations is rare. Very, very rare. Let's start with plumbing. You would think that it's simple. Connect the pipes, job done. Absolutely not. The pipework is the bloodstream of the system. Get the routing wrong, and you've created restrictive flow, noisy pipework, starving rads, unhappy homeowners, and an installer doing that. It's fine as fine face. That means it's absolutely not fine. And even the best heat pump systems can be ruined by one lazy connection, one badly placed pump, one kink pipe, or a low-loss header or buffer tank that has no business being anywhere near the property. And that's before we even get to electrics. Not glamorous, not Instagrammable, but one miswired sensor, one misunderstood terminal, one incorrectly integrated control, and the whole system collapses. Combining the plumbing and the electrics, good heat pump design is an engineering exercise. Heat loss, emitter outputs, pump selection, flow temperatures, and weather compensation curves. But then you walk into a 100-year-old house with insulation of unknown origin, radiators that definitely don't match the labels, and rooms that all behave independently of one another, and all of a sudden, all the theory and all of the maths doesn't help you at all. A spreadsheet can't tell you why bedroom 2 behaves like a sauna, while bedroom 3 behaves like a meat locker. This is where the good installers shine. They don't ignore the theory, they interpret it, and they translate it into real-world decisions. And you don't learn that kind of stuff online, you learn that on a freezing Thursday evening in a dusty loft with pipework that isn't playing ball. Then there's the other end of the spectrum, the installer who believes design doesn't matter, who figures things out on-site, and who treats all calculations as optional. This kind of approach can lead to a damaged heat pump, destroyed hydraulics, and a case study in how things can go spectacularly wrong in record time. And unfortunately, our forums are full of stories just like it. So when you hire a heat pump installer, you're actually hiring an engineer, a plumber, an electrician, a designer, a counselor, a detective, all in one person, and that combination is extremely rare. That's why we created the Renewable Heating Hub Recommended Installer Network, not because a perfect list exists, but because we're trying to find the people who actually do this properly day in, day out. People who design carefully, install meticulously, commission thoroughly, and show up when things go wrong. Because things will go wrong, that's normal. What matters is how the installer behaves when the system throws up a cryptic error code that doesn't exist anywhere in the manual. The best ones don't run, they don't dodge calls, they don't gaslight the homeowner. They show up, they fix it, they learn, and they make it right. For me, doing the Heat Geek course was definitely worth it because I can now understand just how important the theory and the practical side of heat pump installations actually is. It changed how I think about systems, it made me more sympathetic to good installers, and a lot less patient with the careless ones. It also proved that the gap between theory and practice is massive, and that homeowners are the ones who regularly fall into it. I strongly believe that theory and practice are important in equal measure, and the job for homeowners is to figure out who those installers are that have both qualities, the brains to design it properly, and the hands to make it actually work in your house. If you want to see what real heat pump installations look like, the good, the bad, and the ones that should come with a health warning, come join us on the Renewable Heating Hub forums. You'll find homeowners with real systems, real problems, real data, and if that doesn't scare you off, you'll fit right in. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.